Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com. Today I'm going to be doing an install and review of the Pedal Commander Throttle Response Controller available for all 07 to 2018 Silverado 1500s. Now for the installation, I'm giving it a very, very simple one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. The device itself is very inexpensive coming in around the $200 mark, which might sound like a lot to some guys, but once you see what this thing does, it can definitely be worthwhile. This is a great choice for any Silverado owner out there looking to eliminate that delay between the time you hit the gas pedal and the time the throttle box opens up. What this device basically does is eliminates that delay, overrides it in fact, and makes sure that you get better acceleration off the line, which can actually lead to a better fuel economy depending on the mode. Speaking of modes, there are four different tunes or modes that you can choose from on the device itself. You can flip through those very easily with the buttons on the controller. Each mode has eight different sensitivity settings that you can choose from, so there's a lot of different things you can do with this particular device, all of which I'm gonna flip through today and show you how it works. Now, without further ado, let's show you what this thing does and get it installed. Before we jump into the install, I wanna give you a brief explanation as to what we're going to do to get this thing installed on our Silverado. This is not going to go into the OBD2 port as you might think with these harnesses here. Now that is not to be confused with an actual tuner device. This isn't in any way gonna add horsepower, it's just gonna alter the sensor between your pedal and the throttle body. Now in order to do that, you'll be disconnecting the pedal harness sensor connected to the throttle pedal itself. So once you disconnect that, you're going to plug it into one of these harnesses here on the pedal commander. The other one will plug directly into the pedal itself, replacing the factory harness. Now what we're gonna do is use a flathead screwdriver to pull off one of the push pins. From that point, we can remove the connector and plug it in here and do exactly what I just said. So let's get to it with our flathead screwdriver underneath the driver's side. All right, for the installation, we're down here under our driver's side kick panel underneath our driver's side dashboard. This is our accelerator pedal, this is our brake pedal. So up here is the pedal accelerator harness. What we're gonna have to do is disconnect this. I'm gonna take my flathead screwdriver, push down on this white push pin, and it starts to pull that white clip out. That's gonna remove, and you can set that aside for right now. You can just take your fingers, pinch down here where that white clip was, and pull your harness out. At that point, you're gonna take the harness you just unplugged and connect it to one of the harnesses on the pedal commander. Those will connect, and the secondary harness included on the pedal commander is gonna go into your factory spot that you just removed the factory harness from. At that point, you can take your white clip that you took off of the factory harness and put it onto your new pedal commander, and that'll keep it in place. So once you have all the harnesses connected here, it's a good idea to tuck all of your wires underneath the pedals. You don't want this interfering with your brake pedal or your accelerator throttle pedal here uh, while you're driving around. Obviously, it can be pretty dangerous. Uh, this will also depend on where you wanna mount the unit itself. It does come with 3M tape, so you can mount that on your dashboard for easy access while driving. But again, you wanna make sure the wires are tucked behind the pedals. Now that we have our device plugged in, we're gonna choose our mounting location on the dashboard. Now the idea behind the wiring is they give you just enough here to get this in arm's reach mounted on the dashboard so you don't have to play with it uh, loosely in the air, you can just mount it where you want it. Now there's also Velcro supplied in the kit here for the back of the device and wherever you're going to stick it to make it a little easier to remove if you ever want it to. You don't have to worry about 3M tape. So what we're gonna do here is peel back the backing on the Velcro and get this stuck into place. All right, so I have one side here I'm going to stick that directly in the center of our device. Now, you can obviously choose to mount this wherever you want, whatever you find easiest. I'm going to put it up right here above our air vent. Now, with that taken care of, we have one side on the device, one side on the dashboard. Stick that right into place. Now, with your device mounted, you can actually remove the device from the brackets that you mounted the Velcro on. So you can actually snap off this device. And if you wanted to remove it, you can use this freely in your hand, maybe pass it over to your passenger, and then when you wanna mount it back, snap it right back in. This is just like a cell phone holder clip. It's as easy to use as that. Now the pedal commander switch is not just a one and done option. There's a bunch of different modes and each mode has a bunch of different selected options there. So let's run through all eight of the selected options on all four modes. All right, device is plugged in, device is mounted on our dashboard. Now we can select our modes. Now again, there's Eco, City, Sport, and Sport Plus for the modes. Each of those modes has up to plus four and down to minus four settings. So there's eight settings for each one of these modes. Now the modes can be pretty self-explanatory if you've got a general idea of how a throttle response commander or a throttle response device works. 
Uh, if you don't, let me explain it to you right now really quickly. So the way this works is it plugs directly into that pedal switch that we just installed it to, and it overrides the drive-by wire. Now what the drive-by wire is, is basically the delay between the time you hit the pedal and the time the throttle body opens up and your truck accelerates. Now with this, each one of these modes is gonna override that in a different way. So if we hold our power button here over top of that yellow star, it'll put us in eco mode. Now eco mode is exactly what it sounds like. It's gonna have miles per gallon in mind uh, when altering your drive-by wire delay. Now it's gonna give you one of the least delays out of the four different modes, eco being the least delay, sport plus being the quickest acceleration off the line with the least amount of throttle delay, the most throttle response. Now eco mode, pedal commander actually claims gives you more than 20% miles per gallon gains when using it in this mode. Now in eco mode, we can use our plus minus here to flip through the different settings. So eco mode on plus four is gonna give us the most throttle response gain, the least delay in eco mode. Now again, eco mode gives you the least change out of the four modes, but eco plus four gives you the most change out of eco mode. Now again, on the opposite side of the spectrum, we can go all the way down to minus four, and that'll kind of give you just a small bump over stock. Now if we go to neutral, where there's no lit buttons here, but yet eco is lit, that's just kind of the neutral mode of eco. Now, if we want to take it a step further, we can click it to turn it off and click it again to put it in city. City is going to be the best option for the daily driver out there looking for a little bit more off the line. Maybe you're jumping from red light to red light or stop sign to stop sign, looking just for a little more oomph or a little more aggression out of your truck uh, driving through the city. Again, that also has the eight different modes that I just described for eco same thing applies to city. So we're going to throw that back into neutral mode and then move on to sport. Now the sport mode again is going to be the same as the last two modes. Four different selections going back in the red and then up to the green is plus four. Back down to no lit buttons down here for neutral. One more time gives us sport plus. Sport plus is otherwise going to be your race mode for lack of a better term. Sport Plus is gonna give you the best throttle response gain, absolutely no delay with Sport Plus 4. Now again, if you push it down to Sport Minus 4, it's gonna give you the least alteration in Sport Plus. Sport Plus giving you the most out of the four modes, Minus 4 giving you the least in the mode that you selected. So again, four different modes here, eight different selections in each mode. There's a wide variety of feels and alterations you can make to your drive-by wire for different driving situations. If you have maybe your son taking your truck out for a spin, you might want to disconnect it if you don't want him using this at all, or you can set it to, you know, city minus four, just to give him a little bit more to play with, but nothing too crazy like the Sport Plus mode. This is something that definitely makes a huge difference for guys out there daily driving, looking for just a little bit more out of their truck for throttle response. Another great use for this device is if you're using bigger wheels and tires. If you increase the 33s or even 35s, you'll definitely want to pick up a throttle response like this if you're not trying to pick up a tune. Now a tune gives you the horsepower and torque gains obviously, and it will be a little bit more expensive, but if you're looking for something more affordable that gives you immediate results, then a throttle response device such as the Pedal Commander is gonna make a huge difference. Those larger tires slow down your truck, altering the throttle device and drive-by wire delay with a device like this, will definitely give you that acceleration back in with those larger wheels and tires. So again, this isn't gonna give you a horsepower or torque gain, but if you're looking for something more affordable than a tuner, while still giving you immediate results in the throttle response department, this is a great option for just about 200 bucks. 200 bucks gets you four different modes, eight different selections in each mode, and a wide variety of throttle response changes. It's a really good option for the daily driver out there or someone just looking for a little bit more performance or sporty feel to their truck. Now again, if you're interested in picking this up for your 07 to 18 Silverado 1500, you can check out the Pedal Commander throttle response device right here at americantrucks.com.